That's right, folks. We're going to be playing Paranormal Files Fellow Traveler. I had no idea that Elephant Games made this, so I'm super pumped to get into it. I already love how amazing this scene looks here with these old cars parked here. Wow. I am, of course, doing this live for all the beautiful people in the top left corner, Twitch and YouTube. I think we should just hit that play button and dive right in. We've got Casual Craven, Advanced Craven, Hardcore Craven, and Custom Craven. Loading with a hand. If I've learned anything from horror movies, it's that I should drive away from here as fast as possible. And yet you don't. On the other hand, my mother did always tell me to be a gentleman no matter what. Hi, I'm Rick Rogers. Need a lift? Spooky woods probably aren't the best place to go for a late night stroll. Thank you. I'm Emily. I'm headed to my fiance's place, the Bennett Mansion. It's not far. Where are you going? Forward mostly, but I'm pretty sure I can make a detour to the mansion for you. Three days. You will die in three days. This place looks like a used car lot. Hopefully there aren't any salesmen around. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm already getting a supernatural vibe here for what you see. <laughs> Find the hidden eyes in the game. Maybe it will unlock things. Find the cravens in the game. Yes, please. Find the morphing objects in the game. Oh my gosh, collectibles. Rabbits, I am your strawberry and you're my shortcake. I like the guy's car though. I wonder if he has like rock salt and shotguns in his back here, Rick. Rick Rogers, that's a little on the nose with his license plate. Emily is just like in that episode of uh, Supernatural where the lady is a ghost that's haunting the highway, doesn't know that she's a ghost. That was a cool episode. I actually watched that just recently. I still don't think this whole diary thing is worth the effort. Oh, that's a little bit of a nod to hidden object games. My therapist asked me to write this all down. I've never been a believer in diaries, but I guess that's why I'm paying him for it, right? At least he won't read it. A few weeks ago, I was living the good life. I had a great job, a beautiful girlfriend, and the best friend any guy could ask for. It all fell apart the day I decided to finally propose to my girl. I had everything planned out, and I walked into work feeling like a million bucks. But then my boss fired me right out of the blue. I tried to stay positive and went home early. That's when I discovered my so-called best friend with my girlfriend. My perfect dream shattered. <sighs> Ouch. Walking home early and finding the girlfriend with the boyfriend, or I guess the best friend. <laughs> Yikes. Sam and Dean, get the salt. Exactly. I couldn't stay there anymore, so I decided to pack up and head home to my folks. I figured I just needed some time to cool off and figure out what to do next. I feel so lost. The graphics indeed are very pretty. I like how the edges of these scenes are all smoky. Look at how the menu is all, or the inventory bar is all smoky too. I'm telling you, Elephant Games makes beautiful games. And I, I know some people are not a fan, and I just, I look at this and go, it's so pretty. Yes, the puzzles are tough. Yes, yes. Yes, sometimes, sometimes the stories are a little contrived. But it's a hidden object game. All of these stories are contrived. 
Three days, three days. Looks like I need a code. Beats me. Dearest Norman, it feels like you've been on this expedition for years. Even though only a few months have passed, in reality, I hope this little present reminds you of my love, love and Janet. So I now have a tennis ball and I now have a drained cell phone. You gotta get over Dire Grove, Sacred Grove. It's as simple as that. Just get over it. So, how am I gonna get in here? Can I use this tape measure? Nope. Cars for... Why is there so many cars here? All these cars have been defaced, just like mine. I don't think this tape measure is gonna help me out here. Look at all the smoke here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a map. Oh, it's a nice little tablet. This is cool. Task available. Collectibles. Rick's photo. It's me, Rick Rogers. What other options do we have there? Achievements. So this is, of course, the beta for the game here. And I don't know what we needed to do here. He must be a world traveler, but a few location badges are missing. This is like standard elephant games. Like, you just kind of start the game and you're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, tape measure, go. Somebody left a box cutter. Really? I can't look at the ID? Norman Morris. California? It looks like Morris is a long way from home, too. Box cutter, go. I've got a little bit of a mini uh, hidden object scene. Vitamins. I might need my gold medal shooting skills if this place goes sideways. Oh, need a pen. Aha. Yeah, like it says three days on the other cars as well. I see that. Oh, it's a battery charger. That's cool. I packed my toolbox, but I lost the key. What else could go wrong? Got myself a battery charger and a USB cable and a cell phone. Okay, this is pretty neat. This is modern for sure, right? Hey, that's the hitchhiker I had. Emily, right? Who's that with her? Her fiance? Runaway bride. Marriage scandal. Bennett's still searching for his missing bride. I've got news for them. I found all the missing cars. Too bad I'm missing with them. Police calls SR route 39 missing route. The number of missing persons cases connected to Route 39 have tripled. My name is Norman Morris. If you're watching this, I, I'm probably dead. I picked up a hitchhiker one night. She said she was going to the mansion. We had a good chat, and then something weird happened. The girl disappeared, and the radio whispered something about three days. <sighs> Crap. Someone's coming. I found an old photo while I was searching for some information about the place. It should help you. So, SM is Norman Morris. Nice to meet you. Hope you're still alive. I could use a friend right now. Norman fell for the same shtick. Don't eat or drink food from strangers and don't pick up strangers. Mm-hmm. Phone with a code. No, not this code. Globe charm. 
Uh, here? Apparently so. Here we go, folks. We've got to solve it. Aries. Sagittarius. Pisces. And we also have Taurus. And then Cancer. Let's do this. It's dark, chilly, and uninviting. Clearly, this is the way to go. And clearly, there's a beautiful lady over here. Hello. Hi. Oh, dude. The mistress is waiting for a guest in the hall. She'll be very pleased to see another has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good idea. And I thought I had problems. I wonder if everyone who ends up here is already miserable. We got a ton of collectibles here, folks. <gasps> She's so pretty. Hi. Uh, what's a lovely lady like you doing in a place like this? I could draw water from her here. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Hello, creepy man. Whatever are you doing here? Man, oh man, it looks so good. Looks like our craven gets to go on the door. Oh, we're still missing the knocker. Tapestry parts, muddy parcel. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if this will work. Nope. Ouch, I'm no gardener. But I doubt I can trim these with my bare hands. He did come out of nowhere, I agree. Oh, dude! Whoa, 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 whoa. We are the handsome one this time. Uh-oh! Don't trust us. Don't trust us! It's all our fault, though. I think that'd be cool if they ever had that in a uh, hidden object game where you play the entire game and you learn at the very end. It was all you. You were the bad guy. That would be fun. Oh, we need one more. Scrub a dub dub. And we have another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Italy? I guess that's supposed to be Britain. Um, that goes there. Germany is there. Moscow! We have a three and a four and a one. And a nine. And a seven. Come on. What do we got? We got some steamy glitter. Yay. We're the handsome one this time. I know. Oh, man. Look how gorgeous this hidden object scene is. It's funny, right? Because... I don't need my games to be gorgeous. If it has a good story, I'll be into it. But if it has a so-so story and it has amazing look and feel, <laughs> I'm also into it. Hello, Germany. I'm from Canada. Hello from Canada. Norman was on his way for some kind of conference. Professor of History. Oh, what's this? Dear Aiden Pierce, thank you for your generous donation. Our university greatly appreciates the artifacts from your dig site. We'll soon be hosting a special grand opening in our museum, hosted by our students. We're planning to unveil your findings there for all to see. We're looking forward to your future donations. Dr. Neil Morris. Hmm. So 
We've got basically a fragmented object scene here. Where is that red tassel? I need it. Yeah, this scene is gorgeous. Is that supposed to be a watch? Got some wheel action over here and some fabric moving around. Okay, where is this watch? Quill here, just, just blown in the wind. Oh, I wanted this thing. Ah, oh, and the last one. I like how the hint button is like a spooky ghost. Spooky ghost. I now have a decorative horn. Of course I do. Man, he's got some nice leather seats. He's got a mixture of almost like cloth and leather. Looking good. Texas is his own country? Ah, I don't think it is. It may want to be, but... Clown. Decorative horn. Globe charm. Phone with a flashlight. Tapestry part. Hmm. Time Traveler! That is indeed the name of the game. Paranormal Files. Time Traveler is the name of the game. Made by Elephant Games. And they're looking pretty gorgeous. Oh, we get to go and say hi. How you doing? Hi. What's your name? Do you have any water I can have? What in the world do you want me to do? Weird. Apparently the horn goes here. The horn of plenty. Oh! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What, where did that fish come from? Crazy. All right.